What's up, Extremers? Mr. Terry here, and I am so excited to celebrate a very special day with you today. So I want you to do me a favor and help me to celebrate Happy Grocery Bag Day! Yeah. Hey, what you mean no? That's not... Half-Finished Water Bottle Day! Yeah. Wait, that's not it either? Um, let me check my notes real quick. Let's see, not half it's donkey day, plastic cup day, thumbs up day, open laptop day, measuring tape day, black table day. Wait, it's not, is that that either? Hmm. Man, this is hard. Um. Wait, you know what? Can you just tell me what today is? If you know, yell it as loud as you can. Let me see. I, I still can't hear you. Could you go a little bit louder? Oh, that's right, it's Father's Day! How could I forget that? So you know what, since it's Father's Day, we're gonna first pray in, then we're gonna have DJ Royce, he's spinning some music for praise and worship, and then we're gonna get right into our lesson. Who? Cool. let's do it. So Father God, we thank you so much for your continuous love. We thank you that we have another week together again. And Father, we just thank you for this day and pray that we'll have lots of fun, lots of laughs, and just learn a lot of new things. It is in your precious son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, DJ Royalty, it is all on you, buddy. Even on the sideline, every single time out, I was trying to figure out the game. I didn't mind, even if it wasn't mine, it was only me more when my time finally came. I cried, but at least it didn't die. Ain't no one apologize, I just readjusted to the pain. I realized, even with a coupon, I can never buy time, regardless of the money I made. A loud mouth, try to turn my fighting down, tell me why people always try to take advantage, cause I'm safe. A seat fell on while I'm riding around, people trying to orchestrate the next thing to take me out the game. The only thing I can hear is blah blah. I don't let my window down when someone tries to tell me that I can't. And if you're down, I'ma let you inside. You be, you be, yeah, yeah. You be, you be okay, yeah. Take me away. I ain't Kevin Gates. I get tired like a lace. Trying to steal my joy, but I don't know how much more I can take. I don't have time with beef. I got way too much at stake. I learned how to levitate. When the levy breaks, I hesitate. When I see red flags, like I'm Federate. They can tell I'm different by the way that I put on for my state. They're like, where you from? And I say, from a different mind state. I'm like, who are you? And what you here for? Where were you when I was on my own? That's the opposite of Rento. Playing games was never the intention. But with the you, Nintendo? Jesus didn't die for us to send, though. I took all my feelings that were floating in my mental. And I'm burning on the disc and got it popping like a pimple. So you can hate me, but you didn't make me. But make sure you pay me so I can buy a power like AEO. Oh. Yeah, had to get, had to get we about to do it this way. Uh -huh. Come on, y'all. Let's see the next one. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care if the enemy tries to make you cry all night. I don't care what they told you. Just try to keep your composure. Never mind the size of a mountain standing right before you. But you're ready before I have you. You got your whole armor. You're sober and you never let your guard down. They never leave or forsake you. Just hold on to your faith. Huh? Yeah, used to complain it's storm and rain. Now I'm in the same in Jesus' name. Made it for real. Mama stressing my paying the bills. Now we winning like dealing no deal. Cause I pray for change. Might have one let it be known. Gotta be where you belong. Is it really me alone? Better re pick up the phone. I know we good with the king. And I put that on shalom. Look at my heavenly home. I'm in this night and get in the zone. Glory. Glory, 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 yeah, glory, 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 yeah, glory, yeah. You can fight my battles, never lost my 
my battles, hit them with my battles. Oh, you can fight my battles, never lost my battles, hit them with my battles. Yeah. I be looking bad like wow, can't really be helping me down. When I ain't had no way out, when my granddad hit them clouds, yo, struggling day to day, but Travis team made it away. Yo, we escaped the pain, look at my fed away. Look, take a fight, that thing, not all paid up. Money's me, not all add up. Car running up, I can't hold my car. Things don't change the blood in us. Jesus' name. Demons flee and everything changed. One day we'll be free at last. When I call on Jesus' name, all my fear is stripped away. One day we'll be free at last. We worlds collide. We worlds collide. All right, thank you, DJ Royalty, for that great praise and worship experience. So you know what? Since it's Father's Day, I want us all to celebrate the great men in our life. So whether a biological dad, stepdad, goddad, foster dad, granddad, uncle who's like a dad, or dad figures, coaches, teachers, family, friends, any and all fathers and father figures, we want to celebrate all of them. But you know what? Before we get to our lesson today, I'm going to utilize my superpowers as a dad and drum roll please tell some dad jokes are you ready <laughs> i hope you are because here comes the funny all right all right let me see hey hey thank you thank you welcome to dad's jokes r us comedy club and i'm gonna be your comedian for tonight mr t b funny <laughs> all right look here look here i just flew in and boy are my arms tired <laughs> All right, all right, you guys are great. You guys are great. But hey, let's go ahead and get to these jokes, okay? All right, first off, let's go ahead and start off. Um, I love leopards, but let me ask you, why can't a leopard hide? Huh? Huh? Do you know? Does anybody know? Nope. <laughs> are you ready? All right. <laughs> because they are always spotted. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I got another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Another dad joke for you. All right. So where do baby cats learn to swim? Huh? Do you know? You got it? Nope. You don't know? You don't know? Okay. All right. So, so, all right. You ready? All right. So baby cats learn to swim in the kitty pool. <laughs> the kitty pool. All right. All right. All right. I know. I know. I know. Okay. All right. Got one more for you. Got one more. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here's for my Frozen fans. All right. Are you ready? Everybody likes Frozen? Okay. All right. Here you go. Why can't you give Elsa a balloon? Huh? Huh? Do you know? Nope, you don't know? Okay, okay, all right. You can't give Elsa a balloon because she will let it go, let it go. <laughs> hey, look here, look here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You all have been a great audience. Thank you, thank you. All right, you all take care. Take care, all right? All right. You guys, all right, take care. Take care. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and get to today's lesson. Today we're going to talk about a great father. It is a father from one of Jesus' parables, sometimes called the prodigal son. We can find this in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 24. So let's go ahead to our explainer video for some more details on this verse. The story of the prodigal son starts off with a man who had two sons. So the youngest son goes to his dad and tells him that he wants his dad to give him the money his dad was saving for him. So, the dad decides that he will listen to his younger son and divides up the money and gives the younger brother his share of the money. The younger brother, he ends up getting all of his belongings together and the money. He goes off to a distant country and he wastes all of his money through partying and doing a bunch of things that he just should not be doing. 
as if things couldn't get any worse after he lost all of his money from living wild and partying, there was a bad famine in the country he was in and he became really hungry and had no money to take care of himself. So he went and got a job from a person who lived in the foreign country he was in and they had him feed the pigs. But he was so hungry, he wanted to eat the food the pigs were eating. But no one would give him any food. <laughs> then he started thinking, the people who work for my dad eat better than this. So why am I sitting here with pigs and starving? I need to go back home to my father and tell him I'm sorry and ask for forgiveness. And maybe, maybe he'll let me be a hired servant and I'll just work for him. He got up and headed back home to his dad, realizing that leaving was a terrible mistake and to ask for forgiveness. While on his way home, he was still a little far from his house, but his dad could see him coming and he was filled with so much love for his son that he ran to his son and hugged him tight. The prodigal son said to the father, I was wrong and I sinned against you and did bad things. I am not worthy to be your son. But the father, with love in his eyes, told his servants to go get his son the best robe they had and to get the best meat ready for a feast to celebrate his son coming back home. Wow. So can you guess who the father in the story is? That's right. It's God. God is the ultimate father. God is loving. He's forgiving and compassionate. God is so loving that even if someone like us rebels against him, he will not stop his love. If and when they decide to come back to him, God will welcome them back with open arms and he'll even celebrate them being back. That is great news, and that is signs of a great father. So this Father's Day Extremers, if you are able, please make sure to call, FaceTime, email, or tell your father or someone like a father to you how much you appreciate them. And make sure you thank God for being the ultimate father and example of a great father for us. So all right, Extremers, thank you so much for hanging in there with me today on Father's Day <laughs> and listening to my jokes. And I pray that you had a good time today. So until next time, peace out, extremers.